the betting, uh, the not so much uh, anymore is more down to my own fault. Uh, I need to uh, I need to get studying again to to get the edge back. But yeah, it's a great product. I love the exchange. It's uh, it's really it's uh, in my opinion one of the better bookmakers, if not the best bookmaker out there. Second race on the card at Hollywood Bet Scottsville in the capital, Peter Maritzburg, is a conditional graduation just after one o'clock, five past one to be exact, and the race will be run over 1,200 metres. At the time, early time of recording, no scratchings. Sheldon, it's never this easy, but I do believe, or I'm making it um, for me, for my selections, a two-horse race. Uh, I like number two, Beechamwood Boy, and I like him quite strongly. Keegan DeMello again for Wendy Whitehead. Yes, he does have to carry 59 kilograms. Uh, and the other horse that I quite fancy is number seven, Slim Yanni. Uh, the young rider uh, had his first ride above this, uh, on this horse aboard Slim Yanni last time and unfortunately got himself into a little bit of trouble. Uh, as the computer form says, slow ride inquiry, but it, it was his first ride ever. You probably find that he got a little overwhelmed or maybe a little tired in the closing stages. Um, but Sibasish Lishlingwa now rides this path for gelding. So those are my two, Beach and Wood Boy, Slim Yanni. I'm in the camp of you. I think you can take some boxed exactors, take the swingers around those two. Touching on Slim Yanni, 56 minus the two and a half kilograms. So that's certainly going to be a little bit of a help taking some weight off the back with number seven, Slim Yanni. A horse who's got the ability to do exceptionally well and will be right there when the whips are cracking. Number two, Beechamwood Boy, definitely going to be the horse that I think they're going to set their sights on. Last time, he was a little bit unlucky, should have been a little bit closer. He beat just a guy, I think, three runs back and then second to Queenswood. And then just the last word on number one, Don Carari, a horse I've been following him. But he just doesn't seem to put 100% in. He lugs around a bit. But when he puts it together, and it might be on Wednesday with Serena Mudley, because he does tend to hang usually in, so the one draw will be in his favour. Yeah, I'm glad you mentioned Don Carari, because if there were one, was one other, it would be him. Um, yeah, he's, he's always there and thereabouts, but 184 days, he's making us wait for his next win. So certainly trifectas and quartets Don Carari. But, uh, OK, Beechamwood Boy and Slim Yanni, uh, lightly race Slim Yanni, and uh, certainly uh, you're right, they're going to have to be setting their sights on beach and Wendy's horse horses on such good form, aren't they? Just running like absolute Trojans at the moment, and if you look at Slim Yanni, ran behind Hooves of Troy in the penultimate run, we saw Hooves of Troy yeah. come out to win, so the form line has been franked. So that's a wrap for race number two, best of luck. It's Donovan Everett from Cape Racing and uh, I'd just like to say it's an absolute pleasure to be involved with uh, Intrabet and Cape Breeders in this, uh, in this golf day today here at Pool Valley. Um, it's fantastic for the industry to see all the relevant stakeholders coming down and having a good time and networking and it's exactly what the, the industry needs right now in terms of moving forward and recreating some positivity to take us forward into the next year.